Hey everybody, welcome back to Swift Lessons for another song tutorial. In today's session, let's head way back to 1964 for a complete breakdown of Roger Miller's iconic hit, King of the Road. So this is a fairly easy song, it's nice and short. It features just three chords, a one, four, five progression. First in the key of B, then we have a very cool half step key change up to the key of C. So I'll take you through those chords and also some finger style strumming technique for all the verses. And you can follow along using my chord sheet in my tab at patreon.com slash swiftlessons. Now let's get started with a full demonstration of the tune. I want you to see what you can figure out using your ear. Then you can jump into the instructional segments. Let's get started. A one, two, three. Trailers for sale or rent. Rooms to let just 50 cents. No phone, no pool, no pen. I ain't got no cigarettes, I bought two hours of pushing broom by the eight by twelve four bedroom. I'm a man of means, by no means. King of the road. Third box car, midnight train. Destination banger, main. Old worn out suit and shoe. I don't pay no union dues. I smoke old stogies I have found. Short, but not too big around. I'm a man of means, by no means. King of the road. I know every engineer on every train All their children and all of their names I know every hand down in every town And every lock that ain't locked when no one's around I sing trailers for sale or rent Rooms to let just 50 cents No phone, no pool, no pets I ain't got no cigarettes, I bought two hours of pushing broom Bowser, eight by twelve, four bedroom I'm a man of means, by no means, king of the room Okay, a close look at the fretboard, getting started with an optional intro bass line This is something that's a little bit complex, but I think it's really worth learning, it adds a lot to the performance so we're in standard tuning, the key of B major to get us started. This intro is gonna sound like this. A one, two, three, and four, and a one. Trailers for sale or rent. All right, then that gets you into the verse section. Okay, breaking that down, first, it's gonna be very helpful if you know how to play the B major scale. That's where all of these notes are coming from. So the B scale looks and sounds like this. Okay, so that was frets seven on the low E, up to nine, the A string six, seven, nine, and onto the D string six, eight, and nine. The B major scale. Okay, now we can jump into learning the riff. The first measure is gonna look and sound like this. All right, with that last note getting us into measure two. So one, two, three. All right, that was the ninth fret of the A string. Six on the D, back to nine, down to six. And then start in measure two and the beginning of the progression. We're on the seventh fret of the low E string. All right, from there, we're gonna have this nice groove to get us into measure three. Okay, so that was starting from that seventh fret, we're going down to six, back up to seven, and then to the sixth fret of the A string. Next, another walk up, seven, six, seven. All right, that implies the four chord in measure three there. So far you have. All 
right now, measure three sounds like this, starting from that seventh fret. All right, and then finally, we'll walk up to the five chord in measure number four. Okay, so that was seven, a slap of the strings, making sure your pick lands on the appropriate string so you can pluck that seventh fret A string again. All right, then we're gonna play nine on the D, down to six, and then seven, walking chromatically, up to measure four, the ninth fret of the A string. Okay, let's put measures one through three together. So one, two, three. All right, now measure number four is gonna sound like this. All right, so very simple, just playing nine, slap, eight, nine, slap, eight, nine to get into measure number five, where we're gonna have a nice walk down. Okay, adding that into the mix, we have. Now, the last measure sounds like this. All right, to jump into the verse. Okay, so that was the A string, nine, nine, seven. All right, then the low E string, nine, down to two, up to four, six, walking up to the B major chord, the bass, and the strum of the B major bar chord to start the verse. So, Put that entire intro bass line together and we have one, two, three. Boom, ba, boom, boom, boom. Okay, if you can play that, then you're ready to move into the verse sections. Okay, very good everybody. You have the intro section down and now we're jumping into the verse sections. Now, as I mentioned before, verse number one and two are in the key of B, but then we're gonna have a key change for the end of the song. But for both of those keys, we're just gonna have a simple one, four, five progression. So in the key of B, that just means we're taking the B major scale, plucking out the first, fourth, and fifth notes. All right, that gives us B, E, and F sharp. We're converting those to chordal form. That gives us B major, E major, and F sharp major. Okay, so the B chord, we're barring the seventh fret, low E to high E. We've got the ninth fret A, ninth fret D, and also the eighth fret of the G string. A simple garden variety B major bar chord. My thumb nice and low, pulling back with both arms for a little extra pressure. All right, now for the four chord, E major, we're gonna have our index finger on the seventh fret A string, that's the root note, and your ring finger barred across the D, G, and B strings, ninth fret. All right, that's the four chord E major. You take that up one whole step. All right, and you have the last shape that you need for this uh, chord progression, the F sharp major. So these are all movable shapes. All right, we put those three chords together and we have our verse progression, given one measure a piece to each of those chords. So the B chord gets one, two, three, four, and E. Two, three, four, F sharp. Two, three, four, and B. Two, three, four. Then the progression's gonna start over again with a slight variation on every second line. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and stop. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so we're at rest for two measures there. Okay, you add in the lyrics and we have. Trailers for sale or rent. Rooms to let 50 cents. No phone, no pool, no pets. I ain't got no cigarettes, I burn. All right, then that entire sequence is gonna start again for the second half of the verse. Okay, excellent. Now that you all understand the structure of these verses, let's get into adding in some rhythm. 
So the strumming pattern that I'm playing sounds like this over this progression. So one and two and three and four and. Real slow over the B chord. Okay, so I'm playing bass, up, down, up, up, down, up. My thumb is playing the bass, and then my index finger, real loose, is strumming the strings. Bass, up, down, up, up, down, up. Or one and two and three and four and. Do the same thing over the four chord. And also over the five chord. And then I'm back to the one. Now, if I like, I can also throw in a percussive hit on beats two and possibly beats four. Okay, so if we add this percussive hit on beat two, it would look and sound like this. A one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Okay, so the way I'm doing that, I'm playing my bass note, the upstroke, then I'm gonna relax my fret in hand. Now all the strings are muted. I'm gonna punch my fingernails right into the muted strings. So one and two and three and four and. Or bass up, chuck up, up, down, up. And as I said, you can also put that chuck on beat four if you like. So one and two and three and four and all very useful variations that you can apply to the entire song. Okay, now applying everything that we just learned to the second half of verse one, it should sound like this, real slow. With two eyes of pushing broom, buys a eight by 12, four bedroom mama. Man of means by no means, king of the room. All right, then you jump into verse two, which is played verbatim. Now notice I had a quick little transition to the second verse, just an up, down, up on the five chord to get me back to the one chord. Very nice technique there, just adds a little bit of interest to it. So on the five chord, we're gonna play a one, two, king of the one, two, three, and four, and then jump into verse number two. Third box car, midnight train. Destination banger main Old worn out suit and shoes I don't pay no union dues So on and so forth. Okay, if you can play that, then you're ready to learn how to transition into the key change. So taking a look at the end of verse two, we have I smoke all stogies I have found Short but not too big around I'm a man of means by no means King of the room I just took the five chord up one half step and played the up down up. So instead of playing it on F sharp, I now played it on G. All right, that's gonna get me to a one, four, five progression in the key of C to start what is identical to our verse section. I know every engineer on every train, all their children and all of their names. I know every handout in every town, and every lock that ain't locked when no one's around. All right, from there, we're just jumping back into the verse section, but now we're just using the chords C, F, and G for verse number three, which is played exactly like verse number one. That's all you need to know to be able to play this song. Congratulations, everybody. You're ready to perform. All right, friends, thanks so much for checking out this lesson on King of the Road. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comments section down below. As always, big thanks to my supporters at patreon.com slash swiftlessons. Hope you're enjoying all those extra resources. And thanks to you guys, I got many more lessons coming up. So keep checking in, please subscribe, please share. This is Rob at Swift Guitar Lessons in Philadelphia saying happy picking.